<laughs> wow. Did that happen, Josh? Yeah, man. That... Fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh well, at least it wasn't as bad as the last shot either. Come on, let's get rid of here. Or was it? Hit the crawl! Well, there was. Oh wait, wait, wait let's. There, there was no crawl. There was no crawl. Spoiler. See, no, I'm just that, that, it's, <laughs> it's not a Star Wars movie unless you know the 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 Star Wars pops it's, out, it's the music that, hits, yeah. and here comes the crawl. But no, I, I you're guess not gonna, you're not gonna get those in these uh, spinoff movies. That was horrible. That was horrible. It just doesn't feel like Star Wars Dude, to me. It, it didn't feel like Star Wars right off the bat. Like 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 in Rogue One, it didn't do. Yeah. That. It didn't start off like that. That's true. But uh, what's up, guys? Uh, once again, we're. Out here in the shady parking lot. I don't know why he told me to come here again. We I just saw weird. Solo, yeah, uh, a Star Wars movie, and uh, we're gonna give you our yeah. thoughts on this. Now, for those that are new, you're probably wondering why are these uh, guys here on the Sports Channel talking about well a movie review? Because everybody wanted us to, you know. And we try. We love movies. Yeah, we love watching movies. We like sharing uh, yeah. a bit of our lives with you guys, mm -hmm. and you could probably count this as a sports related topic because in this movie oh, there was a race right there was a race and there was some gambling there's some gambling right. some poker somewhat poker that's the sport that that's sports so, related yeah. of course it counts it counts it works yes <laughs> we made it work so for the new people that haven't watched our reviews before the first half of this is going to be non-spoilers guys right. about halfway through then we'll tell y'all hey spoiler alert cut it off if you don't want to watch it and we'll do some spoilers at the very end okay guys yep so let's start things let's off jump into it right here. Mm -mm -mm. So Sean, mm -mm. for the longest time, right when the even back going back to the prequels, yeah. and with the new trilogy coming out, you know, yeah. Force Awakens and even the Last Jedi, I got excited every time yeah. it came close to a Star Wars movie being oh, released. Of course, it's fucking Star Wars. I completely forgot about Solo coming out until <laughs> we were streaming. What, a couple and, weeks ago? And, and and no, until tonight, people we were streaming, and oh. some people were like, "Oh, Solo, the Solo movie came out." I'm like, yeah. "Oh yeah, that's right, it is out." <laughs> you know what? What like that's that right off the bat? That's not a good sign. Yeah, they, they did. A, they didn't do that great of a job of like really making this a big deal, right? I mean, well, first off, this movie was in production hell for a very long time. That's true. I remember you telling me that. They switched up, I think, directors. Ron, Ho Ron Howard took over. Lord. Um, let's see. They reshot a lot of the movie. Just terrible. Are yeah. they trying to be like DC? I don't, yeah, that's, that's what DC does. Hear, yeah, hearing about the production woes about this movie yeah. reminded me of Suicide Squad, like oh, and how God. that production went. Yeah, when it's never ever, good. Whenever you change directors, first off, a dire one director tries to make it his own spin, right? His own kind of touch into a movie, and then you change it up. Don't make eye contact, Josh. Remember, do not make eye contact with those people. Right. Um, but when you try to change it up. First off, they're not going to reshoot the whole movie. So the other director tries to play around with it. It's not his own script, and it just fucks everything up. So, right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, again, this is not spoilers. No spoilers, So, yeah. uh, uh, there's no, like, Star Wars, in the typical mm -hmm. intro. You're not going to get yeah. these with these spinoff movies. Yeah. You know, it, it goes right into a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then it gives you this it, information. It was just there. And it, it, it went in. That. It just went. Yeah. I, I have no idea what it fucking said. And we're like, who the fuck is this person? What's all this mumbo What's jumbo? That? Oh, my God. Oh, what, what is all this? I, yeah. What am I reading here? And I, it, it didn't matter. It didn't no. matter. Who cares? Who Within, cares? What, about five minutes in, me and Josh looked at each other. We're like, no. Yeah, and you know, so the movie starts off with, you know, yeah. introduction to Solo. And again, we're yeah. not going into territories. Yeah, we're not going to do Spoilers or spoilers, anything like yeah. that. But I will say this. Um, I, 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 you know, just overall, this movie, I was, I was bored a lot. Yeah. I was bored a lot in this movie. And it all started with the very, very beginning. Yeah. Me and Sean were just like, oh, no. It, it was, it, like, not, we're not going to say specifics, but we felt like it was forced. Like, it was just... A lot of dragging throat. on too. Yeah. A lot of things that we didn't that were that we're you yeah. know being shown that we didn't need to see. It it, didn't this matter. movie should have been at least twenty to thirty minutes shorter than it was. Oh, it turned out to we went in and started at eleven fifteen. We got almost out at two o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculous. Two o'clock in the morning, guys. They could have trimmed the yeah. fat a lot on this movie. Yeah. But you look my overall thoughts on solo, a Star yeah. Wars movie. Is that I thought it was boring, mm -hmm. the uh, for the most part. I didn't care a lot about what was happening, and w that's one of the problems with these uh, like these spinoff movies, like that that you know, 
that take it all the way back, yeah. like, you know, Rogue One. We're seeing them get the plans to the Death Star and shit yeah. like that. Like, we you already know, know where it's going to happen. Yeah, we know exactly where the overall picture is going. Yeah. So some of these characters that are being introduced, these new characters, like we saw in, Sol- in this movie, Solo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, didn't care. Yeah, Just because care. you know they're not going to have a major impact, right? Yeah. So uh, that's the only thing. The only thing, I, like one of the new characters was uh, that one. What was that black chick? That English black chick. She's uh, she's in Westworld. Oh, she's in Westworld. Yeah, she's yeah, in yeah, Westworld. Yeah. She uh, she was an actress that was in this movie, right? Awesome actress. She's great. I love her. Yeah. Here's all I thought about. I was like, Sean, she's in Westworld and she's naked a lot. <laughs> he told me I haven't seen Westworld by the way. I was like, I seen her naked. A lot, and I was like, I gotta watch that show. <laughs> Full body, uh, <laughs> all the way around. Let's just start talking about Westworld. So, no. <laughs> oh, she's great. <laughs> no, but I'll, yeah, like you said, it was, it was very dragged on. Some stuff was forced down your throat, um, and, and on, like, don't we, like. Let me talk about the actor, Han Solo actor, right? Yes, talk about that. I, I did like him. I felt like the the script didn't help him much, but I liked his <laughs> charisma a little. Like his his um, <sighs> what's his personality on camera? I thought it was good. See, I. <sighs> Okay, the actor was fine, but was he yeah. Han Solo? I never got that. You know, Han Solo is nonchalant. You know, he That's doesn't true. really care. Well, he's, he's not this. You know, he's not. A, yeah. He's not a comedian or anything like that. He, Han Solo, from the first That's time true. we see him in, in the in the uh, cantina and on Tatooine, all the yeah. way to you know Force Awakens when they they bring up the Battle Star, uh, that that planet thing, right? Yeah. In Force Awakens, yeah. and he's old man Solo, and he's mm-hmm. just like. Just tell me how to bring it down. Like, that's Han Solo. <laughs> that's this true. guy was sitting around, he's cracking jokes, he's laughing, and he's trying to be charming and all this stuff. Like, you know, like, but not Han Solo ish. Like, well, I, 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 this is I, how, I, what made him into that, you know? Think about the eh, think about the ending. I'm not going to say anything. And same thing with the, now, Childish Gambino. That's what as, I to get as to. As Lando. Yeah. Did you like him? No. Uh, Again, he, I thought he was fine. He was but funny, and he didn't I liked have it, he but... didn't have the mannerisms of Lando. Like, hey, Han, that's true. What's that's going true. on? We're gonna go. We're gonna go to this planet, and we're gonna take the <laughs> hey, plans. And chewy, the, yeah. You know, you're right. You got a good point. Both Han and Lando, the, the actors that played them, didn't do the typical like traditional way we saw the although, old school guys. Although did. I did like Childish Gambino as uh, Donald Glover. The actor, oh yeah, 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 I did like him much more as Lando than I did the actor playing Han Solo. Yeah, I, I thought it was better. You no, know, I love trade. both of their acting. I love the, them personally, but I felt like it, mm. if it wasn't if this came first, it'd be a lot different, right? Mm-hmm. We probably be, like I like their acting, but it didn't fit the mold that they've already kind of set for those guys. Now, what did you think about Han Solo's love interest in this mm. movie? D- uh, who, uh, Demarius uh, Stargarian. Targaryen? Stargarian. Stargarian? <laughs> I thought of that like two seconds into the movie. I was like, <laughs> Demarius yeah. Uh, I, You know what? How would you think of her, the love interest? Uh, kind of predictable. Uh, I'm not, we're not going to go into depth about her her role in the movie. Very predictable. Though. She was, uh, she was fine in this movie. This is the only other movie or any other show that I've ever seen her in outside of Game mm-hmm. of Thrones well, that well. she was actually decent in. I yeah, hate okay, her. Okay, I hate okay, her in yeah. everything else. Terminator. The Terminator. She was, she was garbage. She was trash. She was. She was okay in this. Yeah. Uh, no, I liked her as an actor. I just felt like the script made it really predictable about her. Okay. So, uh, yeah, she. Yeah, she was very predictable. Yeah. And whatever. And we, there we were some things that happened in the movie where I was just like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. The movie. They, movie yeah. What are you talking about? What are you going with this? Uh, what about uh, Woody Harrelson playing Woody Harrelson? Very forgettable. Um, halfway through, I was like, Josh, what's his name again? I was, I said, I was like, Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I was like, no, the character. He's like, oh, no. I was like, oh, my Who gives God. gives a shit? <laughs> you literally forget uh, his character. His character was, his character very predictable. Yeah. I felt like this, but, it was just. <sighs> here's the thing. I love Woody, though. This movie like was made yeah. to, you know, uh, show the fans a yeah. lot of that stuff that was talked about. Yeah. You know, these bits and pieces that are just, you know, lines. Yeah. You know that uh, um, yeah. in you know in the, the original movies and stuff like Where that, like from. like the Kessel Run, yeah. and we get to see how he gets the Millennium Falcon. Again, this is not spoilers. This is stuff that's very well known. They know you, you know. see this in the trailer. Yeah, we see Han Solo, how he becomes who he becomes, the, getting the Millennium Falcon, meeting Lando, how yeah. he meets Chewbacca, yeah. just all that stuff that we didn't really necessarily need to see. Like we got it, yeah, we got but it. But here they are spoon feeding it to people because you know they're gonna make a buck, and they're gonna make a lot of money. There's people still gonna go watch this movie. Yeah. Um. So, and I also want to say this: 
what was up with the some of the themes in this movie. Oh, the, oh I know uh, what you're talking about. The SJW robot. What the fuck? We're not there's gonna... there's some SJW robots in this movie. It was what? It, it the, was, I uh, was like, this is some cringe ass shit right here. There were some parts where like, all right, you're trying to do too much, uh, too yeah, much reference here. to the, the uh, like. I understand where movies try to do yeah. like references to nowadays stuff that's going on, mm-hmm. but this is Star fucking Wars. You know what I mean? Star fucking Wars. Okay. That's where I'm going. With. Like you, can't, we are. This has got its own fucking world. Leave it. Like let's not entwine a lot of shit. You know. I don't know. I just felt like it, it's... Don't untwine Sean, guys. <sighs> don't untwine Sean. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to look. Okay. I'm, I refuse. All right. Uh, so... We, we got to... All right. Uh, and there was... But there was some right. pretty memorable little twist in this movie, which yeah. we will get into spoilers. So, if you've yeah. seen the movie, uh, we're about to get into spoilers. But yeah. first off, before we do that, Sean, would you recommend people go watch this movie? I'd wait until it comes out on DVD. The red box. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a Look, red box kind of night, you know? I, I'm going to say don't waste your money. I no. don't recommend this unless you are a die-hard Star Wars fan like ourselves. Yeah. And you're just like, I have to go see it because it's Star Wars. I have to. I just yeah, have that's to. That's how we felt. We saw all the bad reviews, but we're like, you know what? We still got to go watch it. It's Star Wars. But if you're not a die-hard Star Wars fan, if you, don't like ca- if you don't care, like, look, I don't care exactly how Han got the Millennium Falcon. Like, I I got it. Like, if you're, if you're unless you're a die-hard fan, I do not recommend to go spending eighty bucks at the movie theater because it's ridiculously it's overpriced. Ridiculous expensive and go and see to go go see this movie. Yeah. I thought it, this movie for the most part was very boring. Uh, a lot of unnecessary things. Yeah, it didn't have to be as long as it was. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I I wouldn't recommend going to see this unless yeah. you're a diehard fan. Definitely, definitely not, guys. So I think we're about at that point where we're gonna start spoilers, guys. Spoilers! Hit so the, hit the stop. spoiler crawl now! <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Okay. But yeah, stop if you don't want to watch it, guys. But all right, let's get into spoilers. All right. Okay, so spoilers. Where I'm do we so, begin? I'm so glad that SJW robot died. Oh my Fuck god! Fuck that bro. robot! That and you know what's funny is I, I asked Josh after the movie was that. Brienne? Brienne from... Who plays already another role in this universe? Yeah, she's a Silver Surfer uh, fucking <laughs> Super the, Trooper. The Super Trooper. The, the Captain Face Star Trooper. Super Storm Trooper. I don't in, know. In, in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the trilogy yeah, that's going the on. the trilogy that's going on right now. Now here she is as a droid, an SJW droid, who's yeah. trying to tell other robots, like... Freedom! Equal rights for robots! Oh my god, I thought that... that I was like... I laughed. But I wasn't laughing because it was funny. I laughed because it was just so... Cringe G that that I don't know like I, that whole I'm robot so, and Lando getting upset. Yeah, Lando. <laughs> no, Lando would no. not hang out with no damn SJW robot. Come on, no way. Dude. Lando looked like he was heartbroken, like his fucking wife just died. Lando would have put a vagina oh on God. that thing from the back, and he would have hit that all night long, baby. The one part that that <laughs> was funny is when that robot was talking to uh, uh, Khaleesi. That's what I want to call her. Khaleesi, I don't remember her name in the fucking movie. because St- Sargarian? That, yeah. Uh, when she was like, me and Lando, <laughs> yeah, we got a thing. Or something like that. And she's like, how would it work? It'll work. I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, what? That was stupid, but it was so stupid that it was funny, right? She had, she was, she was sassy and she had hips. Yeah, she had hips. Like, it was like, no back at all. It was all ass and hips. <laughs> Ass and titties. <laughs> um, but no, anyways, anyways, anyways. Uh, okay, so and we saw Vision. Let's not talk about forget about. Oh, Vision. Vision was in this. Yeah, and he actually did more than he ever did in the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, he had a he good was, role. He was like the main uh, antagonist in the movie. I did like him. Who was uh, you know, he's the one who hired Han yeah. and. Yeah. Woody Harrelson on them to do their job and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Um, but the Crimson Dawn, we're going to throw that in there. Okay, we'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> uh, so, the Kessel Run, was it everything yeah. you hoped it would be When now that you finally saw it? I mean, the Kessel Run, they had to, like, they, they mm-hmm. stole this stuff and they had to get it within a certain like amount of time. 20, uh, 28, what is it? Yeah, like... Uh, what do they call them? In 12 parsecs. Yeah, that's what he got it, but it, you needed to get it done in 20 parsecs. Yeah, uh, he got it within 12. 12. <laughs> Rounding down. So, he, he here, so they're doing the, the Kessel Run. Yeah. And in the, uh, right before they did the Kessel Run, they ran into Cthulhu out in space, which was weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The monster. The monster. The c- so what's kind of what's kind of was weird is that I remember seeing the preview before and they showed that monster. So yeah. I knew something was gonna pop up. I'm like, all right, they're gonna do something here. But that was weird. Where did the fuck did that come from? And then it had very uneventful death. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. That was weird. 
Um, did yeah. you like that? No. I was I didn't hoping they'd make a lot more excitement. I didn't really care for it. I like I. I how I envisioned it in my head growing up as a kid, like, oh, the castle run. It didn't live up to it. No. It just didn't. No, because you know? that's what Han Solo is known for. Everybody talks about that for years. Um, I think, you know, I think this whole movie was yeah. actually the reason why it got made. Mm, I know where we're going now. So that the way only we, good part about this. So that way, so that way we can only, <laughs> so that way we can finally see Chewbacca rip someone's arm apart. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. He finally ripped someone's he arms was apart. A, he was a monster. Yeah, so, like, when Han Solo got found out, because mm-hmm. he was in the Imperial Army, yep. and he was charged as being a deserter from Woody Harrelson, who was yeah. pretending to be a fucking Imperial he was a captain. Yeah. So they sent him down to the dungeon to be fed by the beast, and I was like, here comes Chewbacca. And, and she not, was like, no. no way. Feeding Chewbacca humans? Like, what the fuck is going on and here? And there was Chewbacca. Yeah. All eight foot tall of him, and... Yep. How old was he in this movie? 190. 190. 190. Wow. Uh, so that was. I like Chewbacca. Did, did I did like Chewbacca? Did, I think did, he lived up to it. Did it live up to you? It lo- so it did. Yeah. The, the meeting of Chewbacca. Yes. Okay. I, I think so. What do you think? Yeah. Who cares? Like that don't matter. <laughs> I think jo- yeah. you, were, but you were done with like, halfway through the movie. You're like not even halfway. Again, growing up, yeah. right? Growing up, yeah. thinking all these characters, I imagined it better in my mm-hmm. head. Than actually seeing this movie, you know, yeah, because it's it was so romanticized, you know, the the, the original movies, That's and true. and you think of the castle run, like, oh, I bet it was so amazing. And then you watch, and you're like, oh, okay, eh, it's okay. Oh, so that's what happened. It's just yeah, eh, whatever. Now, the biggest <sighs> moment in this movie, the best part of this whole movie. Okay, so <laughs> Woody Harrelson, and the whole crew are working for Vision. Cri- Crips, yeah, Vision, who is in, who is working for the main leader, the main who leader. we don't see throughout the entire movie, who was the, the Crimson Dawn. Yeah. So Crimson, hmm, I'm let's like, think about that. And then, so, Crimson is red. Yes, Crimson's red. You know, yes. you, that's what you think. So at the very end of the Who movie, could this be? Uh, Daenerys uh, Stargarian. <laughs> She when she kills uh, Vision and takes yeah. his ring right yeah. to summon the, the Crimson King yeah. uh, the Crimson Dawn King, <laughs> King on the uh, on the hologram on the hologram yeah 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 and I was like I, at first I was like I, I go like oh is it is this the Emperor I'm like, yeah. no 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 Crimson yeah what I say I was like yeah I was like it's Darth Maul and, and I was like what no. I was like it's Darth Maul and then I started listening I was like it was Darth Maul he took off his his fucking uh, uh, his hood hood. And I was like, oh my god. I went like this. Cause I was like, oh my god. That's the biggest regret of all Star Wars, right? Kill Killing it. off Darth Maul so fast when everybody loves that character. He was the coolest original character of yeah. the prequels. Yeah. Straight up. And they killed him in the first movie, mm-hmm. and people demanded him. They brought yeah. him back to life in the cartoons, but everyone yeah. was like, man, we want to see him live action. So they Darth Maul back. is alive. He survived being cut in half by Obi-Wan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he does. And you know what was funny, though? What? Is that literally, like, for no odd reason, he was sitting there. They just did this for the fans. He was like, he pulled out his hands. Lightsaber comes. He's like, come, come to me, Darnarius. Like, like, what you, I, was like, I was like, what's why? He, what's he using his lightsaber for? Why? Like, <laughs> that was pure just for the fans. Yeah. Uh, just for us to be happy. And he looks, he looks stocky, he dude. Looks buff. Like, he looks yeah. buff, dude. Like, yeah. he's like, I'm, like, he's an OG now. So I'm curious. He's an like, OG now. He's a lot bigger and, like, like muscular than the original, right? right. So now, I like it. I like it. And now, and now, and I, and I told Sean this. I was like, they are planning a Obi Wan movie. Yeah, they are. Which will take place on Tatooine. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll be following Obi Wan when he goes into exile yeah. after the uh, prequels. Yep. But before the original trilogy. Oh, so yeah, midlife yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. We're gonna see that. Hopefully, it's okay. played by Ewan McGregor, the yes. guy who played him in the prequels. I did love him. I loved him as him. And with Darth Maul alive. Does that mean we're going to see Obi-Wan, Darth Maul in a legitimate fight, part two? Oh, that would be awesome. Because their the fight, original, the original fight in the yeah. prequels was phenomenal. Yeah, that was the, like, that was like one of my favorite parts. Yeah. When him and Qui-Gon fought uh, Darth yeah. Maul. And they're going at I want to see, I want to see Obi-Wan and OG, OG Obi-Wan and OG fucking yeah. Darth Maul in their primes going at it. The, that would the be the two fun. best lightsabers uh, people in the in the world. That would be a great fight. Yeah, I want and I'm curious to see what's uh, Darth Maul like, like how he stayed alive and what's he been doing. Like mm-hmm. ob- obviously he's running this uh, this fucking yeah, this side thing. Uh, I don't know something, whatever. This business. I would love to see a Darth Maul movie. Just I just want to throw that out there. Now I would love to see that in the cartoons. In the cartoons. In one of the in one of the cartoons, uh, like. He he survives right, and yeah. he's uh like he's forming a new like clan and shit like yeah. that, and Palpatine finds out because Palpatine mm, you know yeah. there's there's a wolf too, 
a master and apprentice, and that's it. Yep. And Palpatine f- ends up finding out that Darth Maul's alive, and he ends up killing Darth Maul mm. in the cartoons. I don't think that's okay. going to happen. I think yeah. we'll see a fight between him and Obi-Wan. Maybe yeah. Obi-Wan kills him for good. I would love to see that. Uh, Obi-Wan, yeah, that would be cl- uh, awesome. I want to see Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul one-on-one in the desert of Tatooine as the sun is setting. That would be badass. That would be the most epic movie. Now it makes me really excited for Obi-Wan. So... When it comes down to these spin-off movies like Rogue One yeah. and and uh, and now Solo, the Han Solo movie, yeah. Like in Rogue One, the best part takeaway for me was when Darth Vader went fucking That's crazy. True. He started killing wait, everybody. Wait, it turned wait. into a Star Wars that horror whole film. Whole ten seconds that yeah. he was in it was the best ten seconds of the whole movie. It turned into a horror film. Yeah, and it was like holy shit. Like that's what I wanted to see Darth Vader. Like mm-hmm. like him going like that. Like younger yep. Darth Vader just going crazy. Yeah. Um. And, and in this, this movie, one, we saw. Darth Maul. Darth Maul. The so far the most favorite character out of all uh, the prequels. The prequels, yeah. yeah. Out of all the prequels, and a lot of people liked. I like him and Darth Vader. I, I like Darth Maul's fighting style. That's why I liked about him. So I, 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 we get to see it again. Hopefully, we see, um, you know, Darth Maul in a couple more movies before he finally dies yeah. at the hands of Obi Wan in a final battle. Yeah. Uh, because it seemed like they were teasing a another Han Solo movie. That's what it seemed like. That's what I'm curious about. I was just about to bring that up. Why do they tease it like there's going to be a t- continuation of this, right? Yeah, so maybe we'll see him again in the uh, in another movie, whatever, mm-hmm. or or maybe the Obi Wan and Han Solo movies intertwine, intertwine. a bit. I, that's Both these I'm franchises assuming. uh they intertwine because Possibly. at the end of a Solo movie, uh, Han Solo is on his way to Tatooine. Tatooine, yeah, where yeah. Obi Wan is. So that would make sense if they're kind of entwining them. But then again. He can't meet Obi Wan because he meets him for the first time on in the cantina in Tatooine. Well, what if they walk by each other? But you'll see Han. Oh, they just walk they by just each other. They just kind of glance and, and maybe Obi- they'll bump into each other a little Obi-Wan, bit. Obi Wan like senses some good in him and he just looks over and yeah. he's like, you just I see the back. What if you something. see just the back of Han and Chewie sitting at the bar, mm-hmm. and you just hear them talking and Obi's like, and then no, he just keeps going. I want to see Obi Wan and Han Solo at the bar, and. Uh, and Han Solo kind of like tell off Obi Wan, like "screw you" or "old yeah. man" or something like that. I, yeah, that would be good. That would be, be pretty cool. cool that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, any other spoilers that, that was worth mentioning? Not really. Um, now I do want to say, um, Daenerys in this movie, Khaleesi, we'll probably never see her character again, even in another Han Solo movie. I think maybe one, maybe for like ten seconds. I think she's done. That character was already. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, she plays a major role, though. Yeah, but she made it, played a major role in this movie. I don't think. Do you think she's going to make another appearance? She has like to. Like a major, major she's, role? She's too important to Han, so. Well, this, like, with her leaving, which, like, she did, I think this would cause Han to be like, fuck everything, right? Maybe Darth Maul kills her. I think so. I think he's going to kill her because we're Han, and Han's going to see. Man, I can't. You know what? I was surprised, though, real quick. What? I'm surprised we didn't see Boba Fett. I always thought I, that was one thing I thought that they were going to oh, throw in there yeah. that we did not see actually, and we didn't yeah. see Boba Fett. Maybe that's going to be in the next one. But uh, that is our review yeah. on Star Wars: The Solo Movie. Spoilers and non-spoilers. Yeah. Hopefully again, you enjoyed it. Again, our, we, our review, not the movie. Yeah, our, our <laughs> review is definitely the most entertaining thing. Yeah. Oh. But we hope that uh, you guys enjoyed the uh, the review. And I don't recommend you seeing this unless don't. you are a diehard Star Wars fan. If, unless you're like us and say we have to. Just wait till it hits Netflix. Because Netflix has a deal with Disney. It'll come to Netflix pretty soon. Yeah. Just like Rogue One did. Yeah, it'll come right after yeah. it releases on DVD. It'll be on there, guys. Just wait for that. Just yeah. wait for that. Don't save your money. Yeah. Go, go wait to see something else. There's <laughs> no, uh, Ant-Man's coming up soon. Oh, Ant-Man. Go see was, Ant-Man. Yeah, I can't or wait Venom. to watch that. Or go wait yeah. for Venom. Yeah. But, all right, guys, that's our review. That's our take. We got to get the hell out of here before bad things We're happen. We're going to die soon. Uh, all right, guys, we'll see you later. See you Bye. next time. Peace. Too sweet.